Anatomy of Physiology 1, Movement of the Pectoral Girdle. The trapezius is a large triangular muscle on the back that runs from the shoulder to the base of the skull, the cervical, and thoracic vertebrae. It has origins on the occipital bone, the spinous processes of the seventh cervical and all thoracic vertebrae, and it inserts on the clavicle, spine, and acromion process of the scaba. It rotates and retracts the scapula, and the superior portion elevates the scapula, whereas the inferior portion depresses the scapula. Two muscles that attach the vertebral column to the scapula are the rhomboid minor and rhomboid major. The rhomboid minor has origins on the spinous processes of the lower cervical vertebrae and inserts on the medial border of the scapula. The rhomboid major has origins on the spinous processes of the upper thoracic vertebrae and has an insertion on the medial border of the scapula too. The rhomboid major can retract, elevate, and rotate the scapula, whereas the rhomboid minor can just retract and elevate the scapula. The levator scapulae muscle is a muscle that runs vertically through the neck. It has origins on the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae and it inserts on the medial border of the scapula. The action is to elevate the scapula. The pectoralis minor muscle is a small muscle that lies deep to the pectoralis major and has origins on the ribs and inserts on the scapula, which is a bit difficult to see here. But we can see on the skeleton, it has origins on ribs three through five on the anterior surface and inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula. And its action is to depress or protract the scapula, or elevate the ribs during forceful inhalation.